Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today I am working on my 1984 15 horsepower Evan Rude motor. For like an annual service to try to see what's going on with the motor, if anything needs to be replaced before it causes significant damage. So what we're doing is we're gonna start with the top. We're gonna clean the engine out. We're gonna do a compression test. If the compression test is okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and move down to the lower unit. I'm changing the spark plugs out. I think the serial number is QL77JC4. Here we go. So we've got those. And then I've got, not OEM, but I got this like aftermarket impeller kit. I'll leave the link in the description below. You know, it's a little cheaper and it, I mean, obviously it doesn't work like the OEM thing. Uh, so the impeller is a little bit more stiff. But it works, you know what I mean? So I know it's gonna last like around two years before I have to switch it out again, so it's okay. We're going to remove the old gear oil and replace it with new oil. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let's like, let's pop the hood up in. So I'm just using this. I'm just using a wrench to remove it. Let's replace it. Before we do that, let's see what the compression looks like. The compression is around 100 on the first cylinder. So 110 PSI on this one, which I think is okay. I think they'll, I think it's gonna do fine. So now we'll get started with the lower unit. This is a 10 millimeter. Okay, so now once all six of these bolts are out, You'd think, you would think that it would just come out, but it's not because right over here, there's a shift linkage and that bolt needs to come out before anything happens. So right here, we're on neutral. If we move to drive, if we move to forward, so it exposes this crack over here. And then over here, you'll see on the other side, there's a little... So now I've put it, taken it apart. And we put it here, now we can see, first thing here, the seal has gone bad. So it looks all crusty and worn. So that's an indicator that this is garbage. We gotta switch that out. But yeah, anyways, we gotta take these four bolts off and then the whole impeller housing is gonna, is gonna come right off, so. This 
whole thing can just come right off. And we want to be careful, there's a pin right here. We're going to replace all of that. Just comes right off the top. There you go. <laughs> Look at this impeller. This impeller is really messed up. Plate comes off. We are going to be replacing everything. So this whole kit basically comes with everything you need. So the impeller, the whole housing kit, right here. All the parts in there. Four extra bolts and a brand new plate. That's great. Got our new plate in, got our pen there, put some grease on it to make it stick. So this is the old impeller and we'll take the new one, but we need to put some sort of lubricant on this. Impellers in, and now what we'll do is we'll put this over to the top, right there, in like that. Slides in. Rotate this. And our ring goes on top, right here. And that, there you go. The impeller change complete. Just gotta put some of these bolts on. Put some grease on these first. Okay, so impeller change complete. That's done. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take this whole thing off. So when you're putting this back together, there's three things. One is this uh, is the shaft here. Should be going in this hole in the middle. And then this bolt here on the bottom is supposed to be meeting with this here. Then this, this is where the water, this is how the water gets up to the engine. So that must connect up here to this tube. I don't know if you can see it. So just use pliers, pull the shaft up that way. Once you see like a circular, once you see that the screw is able to go in, there you go. Get it nice and tight. Okay, so now your shift linkage is connected. So now this motor is going to slide right on in pretty easily. I'm gonna switch gears. There you go. Put it up into neutral. Okay, here we go. So drain plug comes off.
let's get this one on top. Okay, so now we're gonna use this. It's a, it's a little pump kit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pump on this to replace the stuff that we're draining. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so now we're gonna close it from the top. Okay, now do this. Alright folks, that's it for this video. I want to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. And if you have any questions about the motor, just put them down in the comments below. I promise the next video is not going to take that long to come out, but it's going to be a good one, so stay tuned.